Hey guys, this is Mark coming to you from Thor. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the new Thunder 8 firmware we just put out. Uh, so all the models we'll be ordering now will be coming out with the new firmware. I'll show you guys where on the uh, desktop here. So you scroll down to HDMI modulators, come down here to Thunder X, and that X is going to be replaced with an 8. You can see that right up here. And the difference between a Thunder 8 and a Thunder 4, besides doubling the capacity on the back, you'll have your CC inputs, that's for closed captioning. And also, this will even modulate baseband video, uh, which is great if you have like a security camera or something that's baseband, but it will not be able to take an audio. It's just baseband video or closed captioning with the HDMI input. Um, again, we have a new firmware for this. And they're in stock and ready to ship. And you can read more about these units online. Take a look at the videos that we put out previously. And I'll show you the firmware right now. So it's going to be 0 0.188. Okay, and this is a new unit here, just right out of the box. I just plugged in an HDMI port uh, with a Blu-ray player. And you can see here it's in port 5 at 1080i60. So when you click on here, you're going to want to go to the one that's highlighted. The one I have plugged in is input number 5. And you can change your bit rate here. Uh, you can change the latency, fast, medium, slower, the audio formats. All three are included your IDs and here you can change the name of the unit. Okay. Uh, pin information and of course the input source is going to be HDMI or baseband CBBS. And here you can see the video resolution and you can see the status here is blue, which means that it's ingesting that signal. Because again, the unit won't see the signal unless it's in a resolution in the scope of what the unit can see. So if it doesn't see that resolution, you'll just see red. Even if you have something plugged in, that might be like a PC resolution, um, it's not gonna pick it up. It has to be in a broadcast resolution. Uh, and coming over here to the modulate section, you're gonna have your attenuation up top. We're gonna just jump to channel number five. And again, you have all the standards built in, all international standards, including uh, European QAM, J83A, we're just going to leave this on J83B. And here you can change the frequency. We have charts that are going to come with a unit. Uh, showing you the Quam and ATSC charts. Also, you can pull those up on our website. Uh, you can change the constellation. It's normally going to be on 256. Your major minor channel. Again, these can also be uh, used for VCT or virtual channels. So you can put it on a certain frequency and you can make it appear 100 TV under a different channel. All right, once you make those changes, you're gonna hit apply and that's it. Then you'll have your input five showing up on channel two on the TV. And that's as easy as it gets guys. That's why we redeveloped the firmware to make it as easy as possible. The network functionality, your password, the firmware, okay. And the configuration. And you can go to factory settings and save your configs. Whenever you make any changes, uh, make sure you always hit apply for any changes that you make. Like say I typed in blue right before, but I didn't hit apply, so it didn't save correctly. So now that I hit apply, I can go to a different menu. And when I go back to encode, now Blu-ray is still going to be there. So Blu-ray is actually going to show up next to the channel on your TV. So I have it set up for channel two, so it'll show 2.1 or just two, and then Blu-ray will be written out on the TV. Um, and don't forget that we do have now other accessories for these items on the website. So if you go to the main page, you can check out some accessories we have now in stock from RF splitters, compact ones up to 16. And then the 12 and 24 splitters and combiners are rack mountable. Okay. 
And also, I wanted to point out, we have all your RF over fiber needs, transmitters, receivers. We also have this newer product, the RF over fiber uh, with return path, very great device. But I wanted to show you guys here the amps for RF distribution, 40 dB. And we also have one available in a rack mount format. All right, if you guys have any questions or would like to discuss further, give us a shout at thorbroadcast.com, 1-800-521-8467. Thanks and have a good day.